One of the best ways to keep a presentation interesting is to include some brief video segments. This provides your audience with a break from hearing only your voice and it provides a way to convey complex messages efficiently. Presenter provides a broad range of methods to integrate video into your presentation so that its appearance is fresh and modern. Video content can span multiple slides. It can appear on top of or underneath PowerPoint content. It can participate in transitions. It can appear on 3D objects. It can be skewed, animated, or curved. And it can appear tightly integrated within a theme's graphic design motif. Moreover, with the Event Presenter product, you can include two videos per slide with either or both tied to live video sources. All of this is accomplished in a simple manner. Start with a slide containing your desired PowerPoint content except the video itself. Then, within FX Edit, go to the Insert tab. Choose the Video 1 subtab, or Video 2 if you are running Event Presenter, and click as shown to bring up the video file browser. When you choose a video file, it appears on the slide as a bare rectangle. You can use the controls here to adjust size and placement, or you can make these adjustments more intuitively and with more accuracy directly inside PowerPoint. To change the video's visual appearance, select this button and choose from the available video insert scenes. Note that you should choose a scene type, standard, wide, or letterbox, that matches your video aspect ratio to avoid distortion. Also note that additional video insert scenes are available for free from the Instant Effects website. Within FX Edit, you can also choose options regarding when a video is to start, how many times it will play, and whether it will appear above or below PowerPoint content. By placing a video insert on multiple adjoining slides, you can have your video play smoothly across all of these slides. To position a picture-in-picture -picture video, you can use the interactive mode in the FX Editor or use the mouse to position the video object during a full screen show. You may want to turn off interaction once you have your video oriented as desired. That way, it won't be accidentally moved while you are presenting. This concludes our tutorial on embedding videos within a presentation. We recommend you continue learning about Presenter through the 2D or 3D branding tutorials.